Before we get started for today's messages, I want to explain something about the blocks for those that are signed up for my blocks. Um, usually my blocks matched my weekly video, but I'm starting to change that. I'm going to start doing blocks that have a different topic or at least a different title, different content. So if you are not signed up to receive my blocks, you might want to do that because tomorrow I am dropping a new blog and this blog, I believe is going to bless a lot of people because I'm going to be going into detail about what I went through in September. And the name of the blog for Saturday is called Reset Your Mindset. So I know people are gonna get blessed by that. That was the thing that I learned through my trial that I went through in September to reset your mindset. And I'm going to detail with that. It might have to be a part two because it was so much. <laughs> um, if you are not signed up to receive my weekly blog, make sure you click on the link below to do that. Okay, so something that I was reminded of during that trial, although this is a different topic of what that blog is going to be. Um, something that I was reminded of is without a vision, the people perish. That is the scripture. And I noticed that in my life, certain things were starting to perish, if you will. And I said, OK, I need to look at my vision. What is my vision now? Is it the same? Has it changed? Is it updated? And so then I was led to a book that I wrote in 2019. Um, and the name of the book is 2020 Vision. Let me show you the book here. So the reason why I haven't really been advertising this book as much anymore is because we are, when we hear 2020, we don't think good things. We don't think clear vision. We're thinking about the hell that we went through during a pandemic in 2020. I don't know if you went through some stuff, but I went through all kind of hell and it wasn't just in 2020. It was the last couple of years. Okay. But anyways, um, 2020 kind of puts a bad taste in people's mouth. So that's why I haven't really been, um, promoting this book anymore, but it's some good stuff in this book. And I wrote this book with the specific of showing people, teaching people how to step into their vision, how to get a clear vision for their life and begin to actually make steps towards it. And one of the things that I talked about in the book is just realizing what you were created to be. And it's so funny because during the pandemic, a lot of people face that question like, am I doing what I'm doing now? Is it what I'm supposed to be doing? I realized that life is short. Am I really doing what I'm supposed to be doing? A lot of people had asked themselves that question during that time. So the book came out that at the right time <laughs> for people that did get this book and begin to um, execute the, the activities in this book. But I was led back to it again because I needed to get a clear mindset or a clear vision for what's next in my life. And I want to share this with you. This is on page 74 in the book. Um, by the end of the book, you should have been able to write a full vision statement because each chapter have you to fill in a specific part of that statement. And by the end of the book, you will have completed the whole statement. So I want to teach on that today for our weekly message. So the first thing is my vision is blank because blank. So the first thing you need to find out is what is your vision and your why for that vision. You got to have a clear vision of what your vision is for your life and not for your entire life, at least for the next five years or even for the next year. You got to know where you are going and you got to know why you're going there. The reason why it's good to know your why, because your why is going to be that extra push that you need whenever you get discouraged. Because I'm going to tell you something. Every time you start stepping into whatever your vision is, you are going to face obstacles. You are going to face some type of resistance. And if you don't know your why, you're going to back down. And that's kind of what happened with me. So if you can remember what your why is, it's going to press you forward to endure against what is fighting against you. The next part is my reward for accomplishing my vision is blank. <laughs> my reward for accomplishing my vision is blank. If you have an idea what your reward is, that also will help thrust you forward during those difficult times if you want that reward enough. 
let me explain. Like some people that are in the arts and music, for example, one of the rewards that they may someday want is a Grammy Award. Some that are actors, they may want that Oscar Award. You understand? So they have a type of reward that they're going after. Their reward may not even be a trophy of any kind. Their reward may be simply to provide for their family. Their reward may be to get that dream car that they want. And their reward may be something unselfish, like to be able to give to an organization or a charity that they have a heart to give to. So whatever that reward is, my reward for accomplishing this vision is, then you put it in that space. Then the next part is the top ways that I will create revenue from my vision are blank, blank, blank. Okay, here's what I know. Your provision is in your vision. Okay, so whatever you are destined to do, whatever your vision is, you should be compensated for it in some type of way because you got to make a living. You got to pay bills. All right. Unfortunately, everybody got to do that, right? <laughs> so how are ways that you can make revenue from that vision? And remember, the top ways are not your why. Your why has nothing to do with the revenue. And maybe it does. I don't know. If it is, that's your business, okay? Like, like my sister Tabitha says, that's your business, <laughs> all right? But listen, whatever your top three ways are that you can receive revenue, whatever ideas you think of, write them down in that blank, okay? Because that will help give you an idea of how to um, organize your vision in a way that is profitable for you. All right. So that you can have your needs met financially while you are pursuing your vision. The next part. These are the first three steps I must take to make it happen. The top three steps to make it happen. Now, when you first start brainstorming this, write down everything that comes to mind. I mean, everything. And then once you have done a brain dump, then look through everything you've written down. Have Holy Spirit to show you what are the first three steps you need to make in order for this vision to happen. Okay, because here's the thing. If you don't know what those first three steps are, and especially if your vision is pretty, pretty big, you're going to be afraid to step forward. You're not going to know what to do. You're going to be paralyzed and just thinking about the vision. But if you know what those first three steps are, you know how to step forward. OK, stepping forward is super important towards accomplishing your vision. A lot of people you can you can visualize all day, but you got to make a step towards it. So what are the first three steps that you need to take today towards seeing your vision come into play? The next part. My vision killers are, <laughs> this one is super important. My vision killers are, you need to know what are your vision killers? What are your distractions? Who are your distractions? What um, are habits that you have that are hindering you? Think about things that have kind of caused you to be distracted in the past, whether it's trying to get in a relationship if you're single, um, whether because that can be a distraction. Now, the next part is just a statement. I say my vision is too important to the world to allow these vision killers in my life. That is a reminder. <laughs> that is a reminder. So whenever those vision killers come back into your life, you can remember up. Uh, my vision is way too important for me to allow these vision killers in my life. OK, all in this book here. The next part, the one thing that I need this week to make it possible for me to achieve my vision is. And you notice that I wrote one thing in caps because what is the one thing that if you did this one thing this week, it is going to make a huge huge step towards you going forward in your vision. 
Okay. And it has to be something that's achievable. What is the one thing that you need to do this week that is achievable that will help thrust you towards accomplishing your vision? That is super important because that will help you to eliminate wasting further time. And the last part of it is just a statement. I will not act on impulse but will learn to listen to my gut feeling about every decision I make concerning my vision. Each failure that I face is only a lesson to help me to become greater and greater in what I do. I want to pause on that for a moment because whenever you face failure and you will as you are learning <laughs> and stepping into your vision, when you come to those failures, ask yourself, what is the lesson in this situation that I need to learn before I step again because a lot of times people think that failure is the end but failure is pretty much teaching you a lesson on how to step forward in a better way next part as long as I still have life I still have another chance to try it again more wisely until my vision is fulfilled that's why the enemy always puts the spirit of suicide in people's life because he knows that your vision for your life, the vision that God has for you is really big and will make him a chump. OK, <laughs> he's already a chump, but he knows that it's a threat to his kingdom. So a lot of times the enemy will cause certain things to happen. He finds out what your weakness is because everybody has strengths and weaknesses. He finds out what your weakness is and then he will cause you to start focusing more on your weakness, start focusing more on what you do not have instead of what you do have. And then you get to the point where you feel like, what's the point of me doing this anymore? That's where he's, he's trying to do that because he's trying to kill, steal and destroy that vision that God has for your life. All right. So make sure that whatever you do in that spirit of suicide, come tell the devil to shut up. You keep moving forward. I don't care how you feel. So I'm going to read this statement again with that in mind. As long as I still have life, I still have another chance to try it again more wisely until my vision is fulfilled. So don't give up. And the last part, I will take full responsibility for the results that I get that were in my control. Meaning if there was things that you could have done better or better choices you could have made that caused you to get some really bad results, take ownership of that. Don't beat yourself up for it. Take ownership of it and say, okay, made that mistake. Now what can I do today to step back into this situation, but more wisely this time? Learn the lesson from it. Don't beat yourself up and don't allow anybody else to do it either. Next part, I will not blame others but we'll take the blame. That's still part of it. And from that blame, I will learn to do better in my next opportunities and will do better. Not I might, but I will do better. I remember um, Oprah always used to mention this um, quote that Maya Angelou used to always say all the time. When you know better, you do better. So look at each failure as an opportunity to learn better and once you learn better then you do better and your results will be better and then i end with write the vision and make it plain and then you sign it with today's date now this is in again in my book 2020 vision now speaking of this book i am going to be teaching this book thoroughly for people that sign up for my monthly membership I am going to be starting that monthly membership very, very soon. Now, I have noticed that a couple of people have already signed up for interest in joining the membership because you may have seen it on my website when you signed up for my blog or for one of the free resources. But if you have not signed up showing interest in joining the membership, I have the link below for that. That's going to be actually the first link. And this book, I'm going to be teaching this book thoroughly. <laughs> and speaking of that, um, out of the people that sign up for information on how to join the membership, I'm going to be choosing one person to receive a hard copy of this book for themselves for free. 
And so when we start doing the classes, you will already have your textbook. So if you want to possibly get this book for free and you are interested in the monthly membership when I teach on this book thoroughly, make sure that you sign up for information about the membership below. Also in my membership, after I teach on this book, I'm going to be um, doing a course on how to self-publish your own book. Um, Cause this is my fourth book actually that I have self-published. So if you have a story or you have something that you would like to teach people and you would like to go the self-publishing route, then I also will be teaching on that in my membership. And when you sign up for the membership, those courses are going to be available to you whenever you are able to take the courses. It's in your free time. It's not going to be a set time. Now, the one thing that will be a set time that will be done monthly will be a Zoom call with me for everyone that's in the membership so we can do Q&A time and whatever else I feel led to teach you um, in addition to what the courses are in the membership. So it's going to be kind of like a way where I get to check on the people that are in the membership, see how they're doing with their beautiful journey. And it's going to be great. So again, if you are interested in joining the membership, make sure you click on the link below so you can get information about when it starts and all of the other information that you need. And again, one person is going to get blessed with a free copy of this book the textbook that we're going to be working from 2020 vision okay so if you have any prayer requests make sure that you put those prayer requests below um, so that we can build a community of people that pray for each other i love seeing that i think under one of my videos when somebody was mentioning some things that they were going through i started seeing other people kind of touching in and, and praying um, and speaking encouraging words and I love that. I love building a community that encourages people and to uplift people because there's enough negativity out in the world. Right. And some of us have some very negative circumstances we're dealing. I just did a message on that yesterday. So anyways, I want to make sure that if you do have a prayer request that we can pray for you and can encourage you. So put those down below. Lastly, if you are not subscribed to this channel, make sure that you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so you know when the next um, weekly videos drop and also the encouragement messages. Lastly, if you would like to give to my vision to help over 1 million girls and women to know who they are, love who they are and be who they are, make sure that you click on either the super thanks and give accordingly or you can give on Cash App, which is Glow Kimberly. So I pray that you all have a blessed day today. Have a blessed and safe weekend. And remember to live a beautiful life. You all be blessed.